What do you expect in 2026 for edge compute? Damon, you go first. If you have yeah. Um, nothing. In short, <laughs> oh. to be honest. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. That was not I mean, what I was going to say. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think, um, I mean, we'll see, right? But I, I mean, I think if I was if I was going to project it forward, you're going to see much the same in that chat GPT is going to get better. Gemini is going to get better. These chatbots are going to get better. The APIs are going to get better. And Apple is going to take a wait and see approach. I think you'll start to see incremental improvements for Siri. I actually think maybe somewhat of an odd take here, but I think the reason that Siri is so bad is because the use cases of an on-device iPhone currently aren't clear. There aren't a lot of cases in which you want your interface to be voice other than just conversational learning. Like I don't want to be typing an email via voice, right? I don't really want to be typing a text via voice. I don't really want to be doing anything that involves Siri via voice. And so I think the reason that you have seen Siri lag is quite frankly because the Apple user isn't clamoring for an improved Siri. And so I think I think you'll still continue to see uh, Apple slow roll this. Now, Lux, I don't know if this is where you were going, but in other aspects, I think you'll see kind of edge compute take off, right? If we're, if we're talking about drone technology or something like that, that's a different story to me entirely. Mm-hmm. Over there, I, would, I, would, I think we'll see some advancements in localized AI. I think we'll start to see kind of, you know, Internet of Things type approach in that. But as far as how the consumers interact with edge AI or not, like, I, I, don't, I think you're still going to send it to the cloud. I think you're still going to see um, ChatGPT being the kind of go-to you know, LLM assistant on the iPhone more than you'll see kind of a localized Siri slash, you know, Gemini integration. My take, so like, I I kind of like, I think Dan and I were saying more of the same thing than I realized. I think the, the thing that ends up happening, I think for these big tech companies like OpenAI with Microsoft, Google, Apple, is it might not be so much the phone or the watch that's doing this like possible work, but every one of these companies has some kind of like home kit. They have some kind of at home device that does some level of like localized inference. I'm not going to say the one that will trigger the one in my room because that'd be really annoying. But Amazon has theirs, Apple has theirs, and all of them have like a vocal trigger of some shape. Most of these devices are not so compute intensive that they can do something locally. But when you consider the whole like network of things available to you, like the headphones, the watch, the like home kits, whatever. I think there is a, I think there is a pending singular startup that does something really interesting with home kits or something like similar. Like they try to release a home device that gets like public attention that then ends up leading to a lot of mimicry from the Googles, the Apples, the Amazons of the world um, in the product that they already have released, just not enabled in that way. 